Hey people, it's me Jeffro, and in this video, I want to talk about feedback. Now, it's not audio feedback, it's about personal feedback. It's about how when you've done something and you want to get comments, and when someone gives you that feedback. That's the thing that I want to talk about today. What I realize is so many of us are willing to give feedback, but not in a way that a person would love to receive a feedback. Now, how many of us actually go through this? We do something really good or what we think is really good and someone says, you should do better or you shouldn't do this or that is wrong or this is not done right. Now, if you're a receiver of these comments, you're not alone because I receive that every single day. I have people telling me about the things that I should be doing, the things that I can do better or even worse, the things that I'm doing wrong completely. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't waste time. I should be making more money. I should be more focused on other things. Now, aren't we tired of all this? But the thing is, have we been doing the same thing to other people as well? Now, I realize this very important thing because it, it dawned on to me that I'm so easy to critique in something that sometimes I forget there's always a bigger component to what a feedback would be. So what I truly believe a feedback would be beneficial to someone is that when you look at two things to focus on. Now, the two things to focus on, the first one is being encouragement. It's to recognize what is good about that person's doing and what is the benefits of that person's doing, right? So if someone has really done a good job, like if someone actually spoke up for the first time, what we want to do is to recognize that effort, that courage, and that heart into doing that thing, into speaking for that first time. And, and this goes out to one of my students who really took the effort, took the courage and time to really spoke the first word in English, and then he went to a sentence, and then a paragraph, and today a page. And all that was just in the mere span of a month to two months. And I am so proud of it, right? So that, that particular feedback is one. Now, the second component, it's called the improvement component. It's not about pushing you down or pulling you down or anything of sort. It, it's not about highlighting the mistakes that you've done. It's about telling you where you can improve based on what you've done. So for example, coming back to my student who was practicing on speaking itself, the student had a couple of areas where she pronounced a word really well, but I think that it could be better. And I showed that student how it could be better, right? It's very easy to just say, oh, you should do this. Oh, you can do that. Oh, oh you shouldn't do this. But the thing is, I think what at more value is when you show that someone how it is done. And I believe in walking the talk rather than just talking the talk. So that is the part on the improvement portion. So what I did is calling out certain words that were mispronounced or pronounced not so right. I mean, it could be better. But I, I will always want my students to be the best that they can be. So I show them what it is. I show them how I would pronounce it. And I show them many varieties of how a single word can be pronounced. And guess what? When she really picked up, when my student really picked up that particular word after repeating it twice or three times or maybe more, student got it. And she never went back to going to... She never went back to pronouncing the old way again. Now that's a success. Now that is what I meant by having a feedback that works really well. Now that's just one case. There's so many more. People who work around us, people who work with us, and the people who live amongst us. The feedback we give today can be so, so important in terms of shaping an individual or shaping a community itself. And I wish that all of us would actually practice in providing really good feedback, something that is encouraging and also show people how, it is how they can improve. Now with this, I hope that all of you would have learned how to provide a better feedback. And with that, 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye.